Hello friends, how are you? Friends, I hope that you all are enjoying in learning and programming with me. And friends, if you are new on this channel, then you can quickly hit that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any updates of my upcoming tutorials. So guys, in this particular video, we will going to discuss about one of the very important concept, okay? So without wasting much of our time, let us start our today's discussion. Why I am creating this particular video is because I have received multiple requests to create tutorial on map and flat map. So in this particular video, we will try to understand that what is flat map, what is map, what is the difference between them and what is the application of it where we can use map and flat map okay i hope that you have a better understanding on streams right but still if you have any doubt then i would recommend you to watch this particular video and if you want to expertise streams then i would recommend you to watch this particular video so that you will be having an expertise or master knowledge on streams okay so guys if we talk about map then it operates on a stream of values okay and if we talk about flat map then it operates on a stream of stream of values that is we have a stream and that stream consists of items which is again a stream of objects so as soon as we will progress then by the help of program we will try to understand that what i actually mean with stream of values and stream of stream of values great now if we talk about map then it is one to one what i mean to say here is that for each input value it will produce one output whereas if we talk about flat map then it is one to many that is for one input okay for one input it can produce any number of output that is output can be zero or it can be multiple values great now let's discuss about our next point so if we talk about map then it can be used to perform transformation or to perform mapping whereas if we talk about flat map then it is used to perform transformation and along with that we can also do flattening now by the help of program you will be able to understand that what i mean with transformation and what is an actual meaning of flattening okay so without wasting much of our time let us discuss and let us see about the practical implementation of map and flat map so this is a class which i have created with the name stream operations and inside this class we have created one main method and inside this main method we will write our program and we will try to understand the concept of map and flat map okay so this is our list of integer values and here i have simply printed it okay now let's discuss about our first operation okay so here what i want i want to transform this particular list i want to multiply each item of my list with 10 and i want to transform this particular list okay how we can do that we can do that by using map method so here if you will see then this is our number list right and i have taken the stream of it correct and this is my map method okay inside my stream class i have a map method now inside my map method i need to provide the implementation of my functional interface so here i am using a lambda expression okay so it is operating on each input values so i have taken the input value and i am multiplying it with 10 okay and then i am collecting it to the list by using collect method okay so let me save it and let's run our program and let's see our transformed list 
so here on your screen you can see that this is our input list and i wanted to multiply each value of my list with 10 that's why i have used a map method and i have transformed my list okay so this is my updated value i hope that you are able to understand about map operation and friends this is just a beginning now let me uncomment this piece of code and let's see an another example of map operation okay so here you can see that i have created an person class okay now this person can have name right it can have name and a person can also have multiple phone numbers okay and here i have defined and constructor and these are the getter setter method and i have also provided the implementation of two string method okay so here you can see that i have created and four different objects with the name chetan anand java and spring and they have the name respectively okay and as we have seen that each person can have a list of mobile numbers right so here i have provided the mobile number for chetan this is the mobile number for anand then for java and then for spring and i have added all these items okay into a list and then i'm simply printing it okay now let me uncomment this piece of code and let's try to understand map by another example okay so what i want this is my person list and i want the name of person present inside my list okay so this is my person list right then i have used an stream from a stream i am using a map method okay now here i will get each person object right now from this person i am getting the name because i want the name from this person list right then i am simply collecting it to the list right so here you can see that how simple it is let me run it again and let's see that what we are getting so oh yes we are getting our output this is what we are expecting right i wanted the list of persons name right so this is chetan anand java and spring great now let's try to understand about flat map so as i have told you that it operates on a stream of a stream of values what i means to say here is that this is my list right okay this is my another list and here i have another list and similarly here i am having another list with values of integer type and all this list is a part of another list so we have a list of list of objects that is integer right let me do one thing let me quickly print it okay so let me run it so here you can see that this is my list right and this list is a list of values right so guys this is our list of list of values and if we want to operate on these type of structures then we can use flat map okay so what i want i want the list of numbers from this list of list of integers how i can do that I can do that by using flat map function. Okay. So here, if you will see, we have taken our list of list of numbers, then I have taken a stream of it, then I have used a flat map method. So what it will do, it will take this particular stream. Okay. Then it will operate on it. It will map it or it will transform it and whatever output it will get. It will store that output to the output stream okay so the output of this particular flat map is also a stream okay so here if you will observe that for each input i have taken an input stream because it operates on streams okay and it output is again a stream so we have collected that to the list okay let me run it and then we will see our output so here on your screen you can see that we are getting our output and it is a list of numbers and 
here what we have done we have transformed our list okay to a stream and then we have flattened it so here in actual we have converted and list of list of numbers into an list of numbers right so for this type of application you can use flat map now let's try to get the list of all the phone numbers which is present for all person present inside a person list okay now before using the flat map let us see that what is actually happening when i'm using the map okay so here if you will see that this is my person object and for each person i am getting the phone numbers okay and then i have collected it to the list let me run it and let's see that whether we are getting our expected output or not so my dear friends here you can see that we are not getting our expected output though we have get a list of phone numbers but this is not what we want it is actually doing the transformation from a person list to the phone number list but if you see this is a list of list of phone numbers right that is a list of list of long but what i want i want to collect the phone numbers right i want to get all the phone numbers which is actually a list of long or list of phone number so how we can do that we can do that by using flat map right so this is my person object from my person i am getting the phone numbers and then i have taken the stream of it right then i am collecting it to the list great let me save it and let us run our program and let's see that whether we are getting our output or not okay guys here on your screen you can see that we are getting our output so in place of getting the list of list of numbers or the list of list of phone numbers we are getting the list of phone numbers here so this is our output right so this is the functionality which we can achieve by using map and flat map so i hope that you are able to understand about the practical implementation of map and flat map now let us quickly revise it that what we have discussed till now okay so if we talk about map and flat map then here you can see that for map it process the stream of values where is flat map it process the stream of stream of values if we talk about map it is only doing mapping or transformation right but flat map is doing both mapping and flattening right and if we talk about map then it is transforming the stream of numbers into stream of another numbers right whereas if we talk about flat map then it is operating on a stream of a stream of objects and it is transforming it into stream of objects right and we have already discussed that map is an one to one mapping and flat map is one to many mapping right last but not the least map is producing one output for each input whereas flat map can produce multiple values for each input value so my dear friends i hope that you are able to understand the difference between map and flat map still my dear friends if you are having any doubts then you can ask me your doubts in comment section and friends if you have not subscribed the channel till now then you can quickly hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned with me so that you don't miss any updates of my upcoming tutorials